more than 150,000 consumers energy customers are without power as of 3 p.m. Wednesday, March 8, across the state, with winds gusting in excess of 40 to 60 miles per hour, according to Consumers Energy spokesman Roger Morgenstern. Michigan Governor Rick Snyder has activated the state's emergency operations center to monitor and share information about the windstorm. As Michiganders are struggling with storm damage and power outages from some of the extreme winds that are blowing through the state, our first priority is the safety and security of residents, Snyder said. Utility companies have been spending much of the afternoon just trying to get a handle on how many lines are down and how best to restore power as quickly as possible, said Snyder in a news release. The governor says that while weather services are predicting that the winds will diminish to approximately 30 miles per hour overnight and drop to 15 miles per hour during the day tomorrow, they also are predicting colder temperatures settling in statewide. We will be proactively coordinating our state departments and agencies with the utility companies to continuously assess the number of people without electricity and how long it will be until power is restored, Snyder said. We also will be coordinating with local communities to see if they have additional needs to help their residents as the temperatures go down, says Snyder. The Michigan Public Service Commission and Michigan Agency for Energy have been in regular contact with the utility companies since yesterday when the first storm damages started to occur in the Upper Peninsula. Utility companies have called for additional workers from throughout the region who will be arriving to assist with power restoration. The Michigan State Police is monitoring the situation closely and collecting damage reports at the operations center in Lansing while troopers statewide are working with residents to keep them safe. The Michigan Public Service Commission and Michigan Agency on Energy urge utility customers to exercise caution when using supplemental home heating sources or portable generators. It also is extremely important to treat all downed power lines as live, and assume they still have electricity flowing through them. That means residents should stay clear and call 911 to report the downed line. 